Hi, and thanks for watching. I'm John Mayos. We have a very exciting program. Today, my guest is entrepreneur, author, and a very successful businessman. He's been on television for years as well. He's here today to discuss his revolutionary, groundbreaking book called Ask More, Get More. The strategies and techniques in his book have made him millions and can work for you. He claims the techniques in his book will make you money, save you money, and ultimately give you the financial freedom you've been looking for. Help me welcome Michael Alden. Mike, welcome to the show. Thanks, John. Thanks for having me. You know, I, I tell you, I am so excited to be here. I'm probably more excited about this than I have been about anything in a very, very long time. Mike, I think a lot of people are going to be really excited to hear about the book. But, you know, they probably want to know a little bit more about you. Can you tell me a little bit about your upbringing? I mean, what brought you to this table today? You know, John, that, you know, that's a great question. And it's really important that people understand. I grew up poor. I had nothing. I grew up with a single mother. I, you know, John, I remember what it was like to have Thanksgiving dinner delivered to my home by the Salvation Army. I remember what it was like in Christmas time when the Salvation Army and other charitable organizations delivered, you know, the presents to my mother. And, you know, I tell you, it was very, very difficult. I grew up around crime. I grew up around drugs and violence. You know, I remember what it was like to be the kid that stood in the separate line in school, in elementary school, middle school, and even in high school. I stood in a separate line, John, because my, my lunch was subsidized by the state. And I tell you again, it was difficult, but I would not have wanted it any other way. I thank God for giving me this opportunity because if I wasn't born that way, if I wasn't born in that situation, we wouldn't be here today to talk about my book, Ask More, Get More, which I believe is really going to change people's lives. Why'd you write the book, Mike? You know, that's a great question. You know, a lot of people have asked me, you know, again, because the way I grew up, I grew up around crime. I grew up around poverty. I have family members that are addicted to drugs. I have family members that have been in and out of prison. And people said, Mike, you know, what makes you different? You know, people are always asking me, well, what did you do? What did you do different? My own family members say, Mike, we grew up in the same household. You know, how have you gone from nothing to making millions of dollars? And I started writing things down and it really came to me. And one of the things that really came to me, one of the, one, one of the key principles in my book is one of the things that I've realized is that the skills, the strategies, and the techniques that are in my book, we all have. What do I mean by that? We're actually born with skills, strategies, and techniques within us. It's within our DNA. And what I realized as a young child is I harnessed those skills, the skills that I already had, to basically take those strategies and techniques and get me out of the life of crime, poverty, and violence. These must be difficult. This is not for everybody. Can't, everybody can't possibly do what you've done. Well, you know, and that's another really good point. You know, one, when I decided to write this book, all these other programs that you see on TV, how to buy and sell real estate, how to buy and sell stock, how to buy and sell tax liens. I've seen these other programs on TV on you know, how to get free money or, or how to you know, get these government grants. Okay, have you seen uh, the paperwork that's involved to get a government grant? It's ridiculous. I don't care if there's billions of dollars, and there are billions of dollars in grants that are out there for people. They're ridiculous. Nobody gets them. The only people that get them are PhDs, and they actually, you know, there are guys out there, their entire profession, it's just how to fill out these, grant, these forms for these grants, okay? It's ridiculous. My book has simple strategies and techniques that anybody can do. I'm not going to teach you how to get free money, okay? There's no such thing as free money. Uh, you know, how to buy and sell things on eBay, how to buy and sell things on the internet. There are so many things that are out there, and, one, and I've looked at them all. And one of the things that I've, the, one of the conclusions that I've come to is that most of them, almost all of them, aren't simple and they're not easy. And what, what do I mean by that? For instance, buying and selling real estate. Okay, real estate is a complex thing. You know, don't let anyone tell you that real estate is simple and easy. Now, there may be strategies that are taught that are easy, but the concept to, under, to truly understand and be successful in real estate, you really need to understand the history of real estate. It's not simple. It's not easy. Now, my book, what I decided to do in my book is I really wanted to make sure that anybody could apply these principles, whether you're six years old, whether you're 60 years old, or whether you're 106 years old, whether you barely graduated high school, or whether you have a PhD. These strategies and techniques work for anybody. So what are some of the strategies? How can I ask more and get more? Okay, well, let's talk about debt. Okay, right now, okay. the entire world economy is a mess. The United States, you know, John, the average household has $114,000 in debt. Their credit cards are upwards of almost $10,000 in debt, and they don't know what to do. In fact, the United States is in its own debt crisis, and our congressmen, nobody knows what to do. In fact, just recently, they're just, they just keep passing bills just to push it off a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit, and it's just going to keep getting worse. You know, what are you going to do? Well, look, John, I teach you strategies and techniques how to take your own personal life, your own personal debt, how to reduce your debt, 
okay? And even in many circumstances, eliminate it. I have one strategy in my book where one person actually eliminated $200,000 of their debt. Now, folks, I couldn't say this on TV if it wasn't true. I'll give you another example. I had a woman who, who used my strategies and techniques that are in my book. She had $20,000 in medical bills. She couldn't sleep at night because of her medical bills, because of a medical condition that she had. She had no choice. $20,000 in debt eliminated. John, these, wow. these strategies and techniques they work, especially right now in this current economic state. You mentioned earlier, you know, what happens when the economy turns around? And I hope it does turn around, but right now it doesn't look good. If the economy does turn around, it doesn't matter. These strategies work in any economic state. So these aren't just for saving money. These could be used as success strategies as well, maybe in a job. My book isn't necessarily a, a success book, okay? But it does teach you principles on how to be successful. You'd mentioned a job, okay? Right now in the United States, you know, the government doesn't like to talk about it. Everyone thinks that the unemployment rate is right around 9%. But the fact is, it's really almost 17%. If you look at the statistics like I have, John, there are people that are underemployed and there are people that have lost their benefits. They don't count in the, in the government statistics. So almost 17% of the American population right now are unemployed. What can I do for them? I have an entire chapter in my book that's dedicated to if you don't have a job, how do you rise to the top? The strategies in my chapter on employment basically gives you an unfair advantage over anyone else who's actually looking for a job. Let's say you have a job and you feel like you're under, you're, you know, you're not, you're not being paid enough. I teach you strategies and techniques how to increase your salary and also increase your worth. What do I, what do I mean by worth? Well, let me tell you what I mean by worth. Look, John, in, in, when people are working, they're always worried about their salary, how much they're making, okay? What I do is I teach you how to become more valuable to your employer. You know, I want to tell you a story. My father, my father is 61 years old. He's a machinist. Just recently I was talking to him. 25% of his company has been laid off right now and he's nervous. He's been in the same company for 10 years and he can't retire. He's going to work until he's 70 something years old. He knows that he has no savings. He has no retirement. So he has to work. He's real nervous. And I said, you know, I was talking to him a little bit. I said, dad, this is what I want you to do. I want you to, I want you to apply one of my principles. There's one principle that's in my book that I talk about in employment. I want you to apply this strategy and see what happens. He called me up a couple weeks later. He says, Mike, you're not going to believe what happened. And of course, I knew what happened. He called me up and said, Mike, you know, everyone's getting laid off all around me. He says, but my, my, my employer is actually starting to notice me. I've been, with this business, I've been with this company for 10 years. They didn't even know I existed. Now, the strategies and techniques that I taught him, he's more valuable right now. He's not going to get laid off. And, and guess what? I said to him, look, if it does happen, if you do get laid off, it doesn't matter because the strategy that you just learned in my book, you can apply anywhere. You can apply it at your new job and I can teach you how to get a job in this current economic crisis we're in right now. What about young people who are maybe in their first job? Maybe they're only earning the minimum wage and they're doing some entry level position. Are these strategies going to help them? Yeah, of course they are. And that's why I had mentioned earlier, whether you're six, whether you're 16, you're 18, 22, whatever it is. You know, th here's the sad thing. A lot of kids are going to college right now and they're graduating college with an, an enormous amount of debt. They don't know what to do. And they're, they're graduating and they can't get a job. You know why? College doesn't teach you how to get a job. You know, they might have some courses here and there, but the fact is college doesn't teach you how to work and it doesn't teach you how to get a job. I have strategies and techniques in my book that teach you how to get a job and not only when you get that job, to make the most amount of money possible right out of the gate. Are you going to make millions of dollars right when you graduate college? Most likely not. But I can teach you strategies and techniques to almost double the amount of money that you thought you were going to make. How can I say this? John, when I graduated college, my mother said to me, Mike, you know, you're only going to make you know, X amount of dollars when I graduate. I couldn't believe it. You know, I barely, you know, I was, I was the kid that shouldn't have gone to college. I was the kid that should have been, you know, maybe locked up or addicted to drugs or something like that, okay? I made it through college. I'm really proud of that. But when I graduated, my mother said to me, Mike, you're only going to make this amount of money. I couldn't believe it. I doubled that, and I've doubled my salary since. It sounds like a lot of our viewers are going to be able to relate to your story. What I want to know is how can I put some of these strategies and techniques into my day-to-day -day life? Let's talk about that for a second, John. Let's talk about some of the most basic things that we need to live in society. Let's talk about electricity. Did you realize that the average household spends about $175 a month on their electric bill? I have strategies and techniques in my book where you can reduce your electric bill by upwards to 50%. The government doesn't even want you to know this, but in the 70s, uh, there, was a big, there was a big deregulation going on of electricity. What does that mean to you, the average consumer? Well, you don't have to buy your electricity from the same company that you've been paying for month after month after month. There are options out there and I give you the options in, in the book. Look, when you get your electricity sent to your house, it's the same. It doesn't change, okay? I show you strategies and techniques in my book where you can reduce your electric bill. I want to give you another story. 
friend of mine, very well off individual, comes to me and he says, you know, Mike, why don't you tell me one of the strategies that you have? And I said, well, what are you trying to do? He said, well, I have some gold. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to sell, he wanted to sell some of his old gold. I said, okay, I want to, I want, this is what I want you to do. I want you to use the one phrase. I have one phrase in my book, in chapter eight of my book, one phrase. If you use this phrase, I guarantee you, you will make more money. Well, you'll make more money or you'll save more money or you'll just be ultimately more fulfilled in life. So he said, okay, well, what's the phrase? So I gave him the phrase. He went in. Gave the, gave the jeweler the jewelry. Now again, that scenario that I'm talking about, he's actually selling something, okay? He's actually basically selling the gold. The, the jeweler gave him a price of $150. He used the phrase, didn't say another word. The jeweler looked at him and gave him another $25. Now he's a well-off individual. Now the $25 doesn't seem like a lot of money, mm. okay? I have strategies and techniques in my book where you can take that $25 Okay, take that $25 and turn it into $7,225. Okay, so that savings of $25 is really like making over $7,000. And John, these strategies, they're proven, they're effective, and they work. Mike, that's incredible. How does somebody get your book? Again, my book, Ask More, Get More, how to earn more, save more, live more, just by asking. Again, folks, this isn't an, another one of those you know, money-making systems that only works for a small percentage of people. This isn't buying and selling real estate or, or making money on the internet or, or buying and selling things on eBay. You're not gonna see a disclaimer on the bottom of the screen that says results not typical. Folks, my book, Ask More, Get More, shows you how to take what you currently have in your life, the resources that pretty much every American has, and how to turn those resources into wealth and ultimately financial freedom. Folks, the call is free, the book is 100% guaranteed, and the techniques have been used for hundreds, if not thousands of years, by the most successful people in history. Folks, these techniques are not my techniques. These are techniques that I was taught, and I've used them to make millions of dollars. Millions of dollars in the worst economic state in the history of the world. These techniques can be used for anyone, and in any situation, and they'll change your life. The best part is, folks, they're simple, they're easy and they're effective. Oh, and when you do call in, we talked a little bit about this, you're actually gonna get my special report, Reduce Debt Now. You get this absolutely free with your order. What I've done is I've gone out and I've done the research on how to reduce your debt and even eliminate it in certain circumstances. Folks, you get this absolutely free with your order. The information in here is priceless. So pick up the phone and give us a call. I'll tell you, I wonder why aren't more people doing these if these are techniques that are widely known and understood Maybe they're not understood, but why aren't people using these every day? Well, that's the thing is, you know, you know, big, big box retailers, the government, no one really wants you to know about them. But w again, when I wrote this book and when I saw all these other programs out there that aren't simple, that aren't easy and that are more, they're very, very difficult, I said, well, what can I do? You know, how can I apply the strategies and techniques in my life that are simple and easy? And anybody can do them. And that's the thing. It's not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter your level of education. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what race, religion, what gender you are. It works. These principles work across all, you know, every, every possible person, every society, they work. And they've been proven for years, John. What, you're saying that I can save if I go to the grocery store. You know, that's a, you know, that's a, that's a really, really important thing. And let's talk about food for a second, okay? I, in my book, I talk about two different things. I talk about things you need to pay for, okay, and things you need to purchase. Things that you pay for, like your food, that you need to sustain life. You know, I think your electricity is almost like the same thing in, the, in a modern society. Those are things that you pay for. When you go to the grocery store every day, people just pay for it. Now, do people shop around and maybe try and get a little discount here and there? Of course they do. But I have strategies and techniques in my book where you can get your groceries for free for life. For now, free. Absolutely, they're being applied every single day all over the country. The average household spends upwards to $240, this is a household of four, spends upwards to $240 a week in groceries. Okay, John, if you could take that $240 a week and apply the strategies and techniques in my book, you're actually gonna make hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now, if this works in things like grocery stores and, and maybe buying a car, but it, it probably can't work in things like your taxes. I can imagine things like taxes. You gotta pay your taxes. Yeah, you know, when they, when they, when they talk about the two things that happen in life, death and taxes, right? Mm -hmm. People are always afraid about using the word taxes. But the fact of the matter is we live in a society where we're taxed, right? right. And people always get themselves into bad situations. You see on TV all these different programs that say, you know, call now and I can reduce your taxes. Don't go at it alone. John, it's not that complicated. Yeah, 
the tax code is just ridiculous. We couldn't fill the studio with all the paper that the tax code has been written on. But the fact is, there are simple strategies and techniques that the average person can do to save money, to, save, to, to reduce their tax burden, to eliminate their tax burden, and make more money. What about your wealth level? Is this, does this work better for somebody who has a lot of money, or can it work for somebody who has, relatively speaking, no money? You know, it really doesn't matter, John, if you're rich or if you're poor. These strategies and techniques work for everybody. The fact of the matter is 99% of the American public right now are, are, are in debt. You know, they don't have, you know, people don't have jobs. They're disenfranchised. They don't know what to do. Again, whether you're rich, whether you're poor, or you're somewhere in between, they work for anybody. How do you know they work? Because I've done them, John. Again, I grew up. I grew up in, in a very, very difficult situation with a single mom, with, with no food. You know, when we, when we woke up in the morning, I was surrounded by crime, poverty, violence. I was able to apply these techniques to my own personal life and to make millions of dollars, John. I do it every single day. So you can actually make money on this. This isn't just about saving money. You can actually bring money in, John. If I could show you a strategy, okay, where you could actually save twenty-five dollars and turn that twenty-five dollars into seven thousand two hundred and twenty-five dollars that's making money right yeah, it is. I mean that's ultimately what it is if I can show you ways to increase your your worth at your job you're ultimately making money right yeah. and that's what's really what's going on if I can show you look I have a technique in my book we talk about vacations nobody's going on vacation most people aren't going on vacations because they can't afford it the average cost of a vacation for a family of four is four thousand dollars I have a strategy and technique in my book where you can actually go on vacation for free okay John free. I couldn't say it on TV if it wasn't true for now free Absolutely. The strategies and techniques in this book, when you do apply them, they're almost magical. I'll give you another instance. A friend of mine came up to me in my office and says to me, Mike, I applied, to the, I applied the technique that you, that you taught me. I said, well, you know, what technique? He kind of caught me off guard. He was standing to my right. I said, what technique are you talking? He says, the technique. And I looked at him and I said, oh, that technique. He said, tell me what happened. He says, look, I applied that technique to my cable bill. What I did was is I used that one phrase that you gave me, one phrase, didn't say another word. He saved $50 a month off his cable bill. They gave him more channels and here's the crazy thing. And they actually gave him $300 in gift cards. So you can save money on cable bills. We talked earlier about electricity. This can probably translate to things like my cell phone and any other of those standard bills that I have in my household every day, every month. Again, we talk about in my book, I talk about the two different things, things you pay for and things you purchase. Things you pay for are things you need to basically, basically sustain life. Groceries, okay? If I can teach you strategies and techniques in my, in my book where you can ultimately get your groceries for free, you're making money. It's a fact. And people need to think a little bit different about making money. If I can show you a strategy where you can save $50 a month, and then I, then I teach you how to take that $50, just that one time, that $50, and you apply that to one of the strategies and techniques that I have, and you can turn that $50 into almost $15,000 that's like bringing money in. That is making money. And the fact is, John, they work. And they work for anybody in any situation. It doesn't matter what the economy is like. It doesn't matter how you grew up. It doesn't matter your level of education. It doesn't matter. These strategies and techniques work because I've seen them work. And again, I do them every single day. How does somebody get your book? Again, my book, Ask More, Get More, how to earn more, save more, live more just by asking. Again, folks, this isn't an, another one of those you know, money-making systems that only works for a small percentage of people. This isn't buying and selling real estate or, or making money on the internet or, or buying and selling things on eBay. You're not gonna see a disclaimer on the bottom of the screen that says results not typical. Folks, my book, Ask More, Get More, shows you how to take what you currently have in your life, the resources that pretty much every American has, and how to turn those resources into wealth and ultimately financial freedom. Folks, the call is free, the book is 100% guaranteed, and the techniques have been used for hundreds, if not thousands of years, by the most successful people in history. Folks, these techniques are not my techniques. These are techniques that I was taught, and I've used them to make millions of dollars. Millions of dollars in the worst economic state in the history of the world. These techniques can be used for anyone, and in any situation, and they'll change your life. The best part is, folks, they're simple, they're easy and they're effective. Oh, and when you do call in, we talked a little bit about this, you're actually gonna get my special report, Reduce Debt Now. You get this absolutely free 
with your order. What I've done is I've gone out and I've done the research on how to reduce your debt and even eliminate it in certain circumstances. Folks, you get this absolutely free with your order. The information in here is priceless. So pick up the phone and give us a call. It sounds like an awful lot of this has to do with having the right attitude going into these situations as well. How does that influence you? Well, you know, attitude is important. We always people say, oh, well, I need to have a positive attitude. Having a positive attitude is a good thing, but it's not the only thing, okay? A positive attitude is only going to get you so far. I teach you how to take that positive attitude, harness the skills that are already within you, take those skills into your daily life and the resources that you have. When I talk about resources, I'm not talking about, you know, tangible things. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about resources that every human being has. You have them. I have them. Everybody has them. I teach you how to take those resources, and again, harness them, and then ultimately become more successful in life. How to make more, how to save more, and ultimately how to be more just by asking. Do some of your strategies also help somebody who's in a rental situation? Sure, John. I have strategies and techniques in my book on how to reduce your rent. Okay, There are strategies that absolutely work on how to reduce your rent. I have one phrase, one phrase in my book. Again, it's in chapter eight. If you apply this phrase in a rental situation, I will almost guarantee you that it will reduce your monthly rent payment. What else goes on in a renting situation? I've rented homes, okay? Here's another scenario. You have gas, you have electric, you have sure. water bills, okay? Yeah. Depending on your rental situation, you might have to pay for some of these things. I have strategies and techniques in my book that show you how to, again, almost cut your electricity bill in half, cut your water bill. Basic, simple things. By the way, these things aren't gonna cost you a dime. The strategies mm. in this book are free. You don't have to go out and buy anything. You don't have to go out and talk to somebody else. That You apply them. These are resources that every American has. Things that you have, things that I have, and things that people that are on welfare and in the worst economic state and, and one step out of being homeless, they have the same exact skills that you and I have. I just teach you how to use those skills to your advantage, and you really should use them to your advantage. It sounds like these techniques and strategies aren't things that you're going to be able to just poof into like some of these get-rich-quick schemes that you see on TV. I'm so glad that it's not one of those. You read about them all the time and people get their money taken out of their pockets, bruised egos and all. It sounds like this book is going to give them some valuable tools that are going to help them build their life a little bit better. John, this is the complete opposite of like a get-rich-quick type thing, okay? If you apply the principles and techniques in my book on a day-to-day -day basis, your definition of rich and my definition of rich are two different things. But look, I leave it up to you to decide what you want to do with these principles and techniques. Some of the most successful people in the history of the world, Bill Gates has used the techniques in this book. Donald Trump is using them right now. Warren Buffett has used the strategies and techniques in this book, okay? So it all depends on what you really want out of life. What I, again, what I do is, is I, what I teach you to take what you have and you ultimately do what you want to do with it. If you want to be a multimillionaire, there are strategies and techniques in this book that if you do them on a day-to-day -day basis, Absolutely, you can attain that type of success. But right now, let's talk about the most realistic things. Look, the economy's a mess. People are unemployed. They don't know what to do. They don't have any money. They don't, to, they don't know how to make money. They don't know how to get a job. My book teaches you all the strategies and techniques. And how can I talk about this? Like, who am I, right? We talked about this earlier. John, I grew up with nothing, okay? Again, my single mother, state housing. You know, my electricity was shut off. My heating was shut off in the winter. My mother's car was repossessed. I was surrounded by drugs, crime, violence. John, I was able to apply strategies and techniques in my life and today I'm making millions of dollars. I have companies all over the world and again I'm no different than anybody else. My opportunities were no different than anybody else's. I was just able to identify what I already had and use them to my advantage. So this gives me tools, techniques and strategies on how not only to make money and save money but maybe even how to control my budget and how to live a better life yeah, I get it. Some of the basic things, you know, I, when, this is what I say in the beginning of the book. I say, look, when you read this book, you might say, you know what, I knew that. Or, or, or that seems too simple. Well, why don't people do things then? Well, you know why? Because people forget. They forget. They get caught up in their lives. They get caught up in the negativity of what's going on in the world. And they just don't, they don't think they're going to work. Okay, well, again, when you talk about success principles, I've read every single success book that's out there. You've seen my office. They're everywhere. I'm reading them all the time. You know, look, this isn't about that. This is about making you aware of the things that you already have. And that's what I think people are afraid of. People are afraid of, uh, people are afraid of failure, okay? People are constantly making excuses 
excuses for themselves. It's not my fault. It's the economy. It's this person. It's that person. It's going to get better. You know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll wait. Maybe, maybe it's going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen that way. You actually need to do it yourself. Take responsibility for it and do it yourself. And again, John, these are simple things. When you read it, you say, you know what? Yeah, I knew that. You know what? Well, if you know it, now that you know it, apply it and they work. You know, I had heard a great quote a couple days ago and it, and, it, and it really applies to my book and I actually used the quote in the book and, and this woman said to me, she said, Mike, simple and easy things work but only if you apply them. And that's really it, John. If you pick up my book and you buy it and you just put, leave it on your kitchen table and you don't do anything with it, okay, it's not going to do anything for you. If you pick up my book and you only read one page, it's really not going to do anything for you. Pick up the book, read the book cover to cover and then apply the principles. How are people going to get the book, Mike? You know, John, that's actually a great question. Again, ask more, get more. How to earn more, how to save more, and ultimately how to live more just by asking. Folks, this isn't another one of those money-making systems that only works for a small percentage of people. This isn't buying and selling real estate or, or making money on the, on the internet or, or buying and selling things on eBay. You're not going to see a disclaimer on the bottom of the screen that says results not typical. My book, Ask More, Get More, shows you how to take what you currently have in your life the resources that pretty much every American has and how to turn those resources into wealth and ultimately financial freedom. Folks, the call is free. The book is 100% guaranteed. And again, the techniques have been used for hundreds, if not thousands of years by some of the most successful people in history. Folks, these aren't my techniques. These are techniques that I was taught and I've used them to make millions of dollars, millions of dollars in the worst economic state in the history of the world. These techniques work for anyone in any situation and they'll change your life. The other great thing about them, folks, is these techniques are simple, they're easy, and they're effective. Oh, and one thing, and we talked a lot about this, we talked about debt. You're actually gonna get my Reduced Debt Now special report. You get this absolutely free with your order. What I've done is, is I've gone out and I've done the research on how to reduce your debt, and in many circumstances, actually eliminate it. Folks, you get this absolutely free with your order. The information here is priceless. So pick up the phone and give us a call. Mike, we're running out of time today, so I have to say thank you for everything. It was a pleasure to have you on Thanks the show. Thanks for having me, John. I really appreciate it. Folks, if you're looking for a way to become financially free without spending a lot of money or time, if you want to learn to take what you already have and turn it into your own personal fortune, then pick up the phone and give us a call. We have trained representatives that can answer all of your questions. Maybe you want to reduce or eliminate your debt. Maybe you're looking to buy a car. Maybe you're looking for ways to save money. Well, pick up the phone and give us a call. The phone call is free. The book is only available through this special TV offer and it's 100% guaranteed. So you have nothing to lose. So pick up the phone and give us a call. I'm John Mayos and I'll see you next time.